Welcome everyone to this pastel demonstration. I'm painting a giraffe in the African Plains. And I am using a reference photo from Pixabay. I will be using a very colorful palette of colors today. And I plan on painting a very colorful sky with pinks and orange for my client. She loves giraffes and orange colors, so I hope to bring out those values in this painting. I first applied a cream color pastel as a base layer to the skyline. That way, as I apply the oranges and blues to the sky, they will blend very softly and smoothly. I will also add a little bit of a violet hue to the sky and then use a darker shade of orange at the horizon line behind the mountains. Now that the skyline is nearly done, I can begin outlining the giraffe's face. I will use dark brown for the darkest values in his face and ears. I will be using shades of dark copper, dark brown, and orange once I begin the fur color in the giraffe's face. The giraffe's fur is a combination of several shades, so I always start with the darkest value um, for the base layer of the fur. I'm using a chestnut brown uh, pastel for the giraffe's short hairy horns and I will add some tufts of short hair to the top of each of the horns. The fur on a giraffe is very short and the folds of skin around the eyes and neck are very visible due to the shortness of their hair. So here I'm trying to define some of those folds in his skin before I begin developing the giraffe's eyes. I'll zoom up here a little bit so you can see the development of the giraffe's eyes. I'm going to continue working on the giraffe's face and muzzle area, paying attention to the folds and patterns in the giraffe's skin. So please follow along.
So now I can begin developing the fur on the giraffe's head. I'm going to begin by working on the horns of the giraffe and gradually adding some chestnut red and lighter shades of orange and yellow to bring out the highlights in the fur. And this is probably the thickest fur on the giraffe's body. I want to develop some of the African Plain landscape here. It's a semi-arid habitat with a lot of scattered uh, bushes and some tall trees. So I'm going to finish this dry terrain before I complete the giraffe's neck and mane. The giraffes get the moisture they need from this vegetation and apparently they can go weeks without water. So now I'm going to work on the giraffe's neckline area. I want to build its coat with some tan and white and yellows um, and brown for the square uh, shapes in its neckline. I will start with some chestnut brown and then add some lighter shades of orange for the highlights in his patches. Then I'll be able to complete his mane with some thick 
texture to the hair. Now I'm going to add some of the tall tree branches to the foreground of the painting. This will be the last step to complete this piece. The branches in the foreground brings a lot of depth and dimension to the painting. So I, I hope you have enjoyed watching this demonstration of painting a giraffe in the African Plains in Pastel. I look forward to sharing more wildlife videos with you in the near future. If you like this video, please press like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that to receive future lessons and demonstrations in Pastel. Thank you.